in this video, we want to determine melting point of the unknown organic compound. These are some of the available melting point apparatus in the lab, ranging from Gumi to Unicorn to SWAT. Yes, this is the capillary tube that we want to use to load the organic compound. Then we can decide to seal it here or to seal it using spirit lamp. I prefer to use this because of the flea, blue flame that is there. Okay. So while you put it, you begin to turn it, begins to turn it so as to seal up the other open end there. So it's sealed and it's closed. This is the compound, the unknown organic compound that want to determine its melting point. The compound is grinded to uh, powder as much as possible. Then from the open end of the capillary tube, you carefully pick the compound to enter. That is, that is how to load it. You bang the other hand, as I said, it's entering. Okay, you can see the compound has entered into the capillary tube. The next thing is to determine the melting point of the loaded or non-organic compound. But before then, you have to set your melting point apparatus. This is showing that the temperature now is 27 degrees. The maximum cap uh, temperature of this melting point apparatus is 300 degrees, of which we don't know the melting point of this compound. So you set the plateau, that is, you can decide to go like this to 300 or to go like this to 300. I prefer going this way. Okay, it's in 300. Then the next thing is to load the capillary tube. Press the start button. You can see the temperature is increasing. Why the temperature is increasing, you focus, you begin to focus inside through the eyepiece to check when the substance will melt. Mm. It begins to turn it so as for you to be able to see clearly the temperature at which it will turn to liquid. Mm. So that's the temperature at which this compound changes from solid state to liquid state. If you found this video educative, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you.